Hello, my good friends. It's me, Matthew, and I'm with my dear friend, Marg Helgenberger, today. She is going to practice with us on our mats in a beautiful beginning intermediate level class together. So let's come down to our knees in child's pose and just start right there. Your forehead rests on the floor. Your arms either by your side or out front. We're just taking a few deep breaths here as we start our practice off. Today, our yoga practice will be inspired by the words and philosophies and spiritual insights of one of Marg's favorite Buddhist American teachers, Pema Chodron. So all throughout our class today, we will be hearing her insights, her words, and her guidance and inspirations to really move us through these 45 minutes. I'm so excited that you are joining us here on our mats to combine yoga, which we love, and also really beautiful, insightful spiritual work. We love that as well. But right here in Child's Pose, take a few more deep breaths, just settling into your mat. And as we start right here, I'm going to begin with one of Pema's beautiful quotes about starting. Seems quite appropriate for all of us right now. Here's what she says. Start now. Start where you are. Start with fear. Start with pain. Start with doubt. Start with hands shaking. Start with voice trembling. But start. Start and don't stop. Start where you are with what you have. Just start. Exactly what we're doing here in our time together starting off regardless of how you're feeling every feeling comes into our practice comes onto our mat we're working with it and evolving and getting better in our practice today so let's take one more deep breath in child's pose together as we start and let's come up to our hands and knees from there good just for a moment, cat and cow movement. With an inhale, lift your head, dip your belly down. Exhale, drop your head around your back. It's with our breath, inhale, arching our back. Exhale, rounding our back like a Halloween cat. Inhale again, arch. Exhale, round a few more times. Inhale, arch our backs. Exhale, rounding our backs. Last time, inhale, arching, exhale, rounding. Let's come back to center on our hands and knees. And we're heading into down dog together. Curl your toes, lift your hips up, and downward facing dog, and just pedal your legs out. Bend one knee, bend your other knee. Let your calves start to open one at a time as we start. Just like she says, whatever you are bringing to the table, whatever you're bringing to your yoga mat today, just start with it. This is where we're beginning. However you're feeling, bring it into your practice. It's going to change for the better, but it starts with you committing to being on your practice with us here. Keep your heels down evenly. Let's walk our feet up to our hands. Separate our feet hip distance apart and just hang down in a forward bend here. A few big breaths like this. Another quote of Pema's is this. The future is completely open and we are writing it moment to moment. I chose those first two quotes because we are writing our future right now in this moment, in these 45 minutes together. So let's start moving together and creating that really good future. Roll up to standing. Lift your arms up to the ceiling. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, we're folding back down to the floor from there. Let's roll up to standing again. Lift your arms up to the ceiling. We're taking a big breath in. 
This time, bring your hands together. Let's bring them in front of our heart and arms by our side. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Our left arms reach up. Let's take a side bend over to the right for a few breaths here. Whole side of our waist opening up a couple big deep breaths like this. Bring it back to center, switching arm positions. Our right arm reaches up. We're folding over to the left. Each moment is an opportunity for us to make a fresh start. The start we're making right now is positive and joyful and healthy and good all together. Let's bring our hands back to our neutral place by our sides. One more sun salutation with our arms by our side starting here. Inhale, let's lift our arms up to the ceiling. Take a big breath in. Exhale, we're folding down to the floor. We're walking it back into down dog from there. At any point in your practice, if it gets a little challenging, just come down to your knees in child's pose and relax. But from down dog, let's come into plank at the top of a push-up. You might be on your knees if it's a little hard. When we exhale, lower all the way down to the floor. Uncurl your toes, press into your hands a little bit, arch your back up a little or a lot. Press back into down dog from there. It might be hands and knees and then down dog. Whatever feels best to get you back to down dog. We're just starting off here. And down dog, let's do that again. Let's come forward into plank. Lower down, maybe from your knees. Uncurl your toes. Press into your hands. Arch your back up as much as you like. And back into down dog from there. Really nice. That's called a vinyasa, those four movements. Let's do one more vinyasa from down dog together again. Let's come forward into plank. Exhale, lower down, maybe from our knees. Uncurl your toes, arch your back up as much as you like. And then back into down dog from there. Beautiful. It's been an amazing start. You already should be feeling better. Inside and out, that's our goal. From down dog, let's come down to our knees on our hands and knees now. Your hands and knees, extend your right leg straight back behind you, parallel to the floor, and left arm straight forward. A few breaths just like this, warming up our equilibrium, our balance, starting to get that awake and alive. Take one more breath here. Bring that left hand down and your right knee back down. Let's take the other side, our left legs, they reach back. Right arms reach straight out, parallel to the floor. Any height you wanna lift that arm and leg. A couple big breaths here. Bring your hand down, bring your knee back down. Let's go back to child's pose just for a moment. Take a couple big breaths in child's pose here. The music is getting more upbeat. That is absolutely on purpose. I want our start to be joyful, to be positive, to be strong. Yoga calls it that warrior side. That's what we are developing and calling forth, evoking right now with all of us. Take one more big breath in child's pose here. From child's pose, let's make our way back into down dog from there. So good, from down dog. Let's take that right leg up in the air. Any height you want, but that left heel presses down. 
Now look between your hands. Bring your right foot up inside that right hand. Turn that back foot down. And when you're ready, let's come into warrior one. Your torso reaches up. Your arms reach straight up as well. There's a good solid bend in that right leg. Your left leg is also straight but strong. We're reaching up a couple breaths here in warrior one. Opening it up into warrior two from there. Right arm forward, left arm back. Our hips face the side wall. We're coming to triangle, so let's straighten our right legs. Bring your right hand down to your shin, your ankle. I'm gonna use a block and have my right hand on a block. That left arm rises up here. So both legs are straight. Reach that left arm straight up to the ceiling. One more big breath here. And let's come back into warrior two. Bring your body back up. Bend that right leg again. As Pema says, the future is open. We're riding it moment to moment in this exact moment. I want you to feel your warrior side, your strength, your athlete. That's what this pose is doing. For one more breath, feel that strong, strong side of yourself. And then let's take our hands, sweep them down to the floor on either side of that foot. Let's step back just into down dog together from there. Beautiful work. Now that other side, take your left leg up in the air. Let that right heel press way down. And look between your hands. Step that left foot up inside your left hand. Turn that back foot down and when you're ready, torso and arms reach up in warrior one here. Take one more big breath like this. Opening it up into warrior two from there. Look out over that left arm. A couple more breaths right here. Emma says, let difficulty transform you. This pose and all the warrior and strong poses yoga has, they're meant to make your life a little difficult in a way that makes you stronger. Take one more breath in warrior two here. Again, it should feel a little challenging. And straighten that left leg. We're coming to triangle. So straightening that leg, that left hand down your shin or your ankle. Mine's on a block. And our right arms, they reach straight up in the air here. That difficulty, that warrior side that yoga is bringing in is meant to transform you and me and Mark. Part of our learning is just not to move away from the difficulty, but to embrace it, breathe into it, breathe through it, and let it transform us for the better. Take one more breath here in triangle. Let's come back up now into warrior two. Bend that left leg again. Last few deep breaths here. If it's not feeling a little bit difficult, then you're not deep enough in that left leg. Take one more strong, strong breath here. Good, sweep your hands down to the floor. Let's step back into down dog again from there. Let's take that right leg again up in the air. One time, bring your right knee as close to your nose as you can. Reach that leg back out. Step that right foot up inside that right hand. And drop your left knee down to the floor. Uncurl your back toes. Then reach your torso and arms up in this version of crescent pose here. But anytime that left knee needs a little more cushion or that back knee needs cushion. You can always put some towel under your mat or fold your mat, doubling it over to add a little more 
cushion for that kneecap if you want that. The few breaths here in this version of Crescent. Find a place where you're challenged, but it's not intimidating. Now take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers back there. Take them off your back a little bit and lift your heart up to the ceiling. Look up toward the ceiling or sky. Lift your arms back up. Look straight ahead. And last, bring your hands together at your heart. Bring your left tricep on your right thigh as we twist to the right in this version of Crescent Twist here. And as you breathe into Crescent Twist, again, that quote, the future is completely open and we are writing it moment to moment. It's exciting. It means that we have control over what's going on, especially if we are doing positive, active things like we are right now. The future will look bright, and it certainly does. Now let's bring our hands down to the floor and just step your way back into Down Dog again. Before we get to the other side, let's come into Plank through that Vinyasa. Lower down to your belly, maybe from your knees. Uncurl your toes, arch your back up. And let's go back to our hands and knees and then down dog from there. You got it. On that other side, let's take that left leg up in the air now. First, bring your knee toward your nose and hold it here. Extend that leg back out. Step that left foot up inside your left hand. Drop your right knee down, uncurl your right toes. And when you're ready, reach your arms up in this version of Crescent here. These first few breaths, I'm gonna read more from Pema. She says, to be fully alive, fully human, and completely awake is to be continually thrown out of the nest. Pema is absolutely embracing challenge, embracing taking yourself to places that are a little uncomfortable, a little difficult in order to grow from them. Let's take our hands behind our back, interlace our fingers, look up, lift your heart up, arch back a little bit. It certainly feels more alive when we're pushing ourselves a little bit out of our comfort zones. It's how we change and grow and evolve. Take one more breath in this really beautiful place here. Lift our arms back up to the ceiling. Look straight ahead. And last, bring your hands together at your heart. Bring that right tricep just on that left upper thigh just above your knee as we twist to the left here we're letting the difficulty of these strong poses transform us we're learning how not to run away from challenge but to embrace a healthy dose of challenge take one more breath in our challenging place here Beautiful. Look down. Bring your hands down to the floor. Let's step back into plank at the top of a push-up. And let's do five push-ups together. They might be from your knees and they're as low as you want. And take five push-ups all together here. And whenever you're done, let's meet back in down dog from there. I know I'm getting a little sweaty. Marg is in that sweaty, strong working place too, and I'm sure you are as well. I love it, I love that we are changing by growing, by moving, and by getting into a little bit of discomfort, because that is transforming us for the better. Now from Down Dog, let's walk our feet up to our hands. We want our feet now all the way together at the top of our mat. Coming into chair pose, so bend your legs a lot. Reach your arms out and up here. At a 
strong straight line from our hips to our shoulders to our fingertips. Find a place that is a little uncomfortable. It's kind of a no man's land or no woman's land. And just breathe into this new fresh place a few more times. Fold it down, straighten your legs from there. So good, let's walk it back into down dog from there. Lift your right leg up in the air and one time bring your knee toward your nose and hold it there as close as you can. Reach that leg back out in the air. Let's come into crescent. So bring that right foot up inside your right hand. And when you're ready, reach your torso and arms up in crescent pose here from moment to moment in each individual pose. We're establishing our strength and our joy and our commitment to feeling better. And from here, bring your hands together at your heart. Let's lean forward and come out to warrior three as we balance on our right legs here. You might tilt forward a little, you might tilt forward till your torso is parallel to the floor, whatever you like is fine. You wanna find that place that's a little uncomfortable, that's a little challenging, and working on your equilibrium, which is working on your trust, getting outside of your comfort zone a little bit, just like Pema would ask of us. All right, now let's bring our fingertips down either to a block or to the floor. Standing splits, so that left leg should get a little bit higher as our torso moves down, as our head drops down. A few more breaths here in standing splits like this. Beautiful. Now let's step it back into crescent where we began. Step that left foot way back. Reach your torso and arms back up in crescent pose here. So good, one more thing. Bring your left hand down to the floor. Take your right arm up as we twist to the right. If it gets a little too much, just drop that back knee down to the floor. Otherwise, keep that back leg lifted. So find strength, find balance. Keep breathing consistently here. All those things at the same time, they're all changing us for the better. Bring that right hand down to the floor. Let's just step it back into down dog from there. Okay, you ready for that other side? We're testing our limits. We're being open to the moment and letting the moment change us for the better. Let's take that left leg up in the air. Bring your knee toward your nose and hold it here as close as you can. Reach that leg back out in the air. Let's come into crescent. Bring that left foot up on this side in crescent pose. When you are all set up, your torso and your arms rise up here. Especially in crescent, it challenges your balance a lot. Trying to let that little bit of difficulty transform you and I and Mark for the better. Now bring your hands together at your heart. We're leaning forward, balancing out on that left leg in warrior three here. You definitely are challenging your balance, your equilibrium. You're moving a little bit into discomfort, but you're doing it safely and as best you can. Good, now bring your fingertips to a block. Your hands can come down to that block, your fingertips can come to the floor, but let that right leg reach a little bit higher in standing splits here. Good, now let's step it back into crescent. That right foot steps way back. And reach your body back up in crescent pose from here. 
Fantastic. One more thing. Bring your right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm up as we twist it left. Again, if you need to, drop that right knee down on the floor. And a few more breaths as we twist it here. Bring that hand down to the floor. Let's step our way back into down dog from there. Just one more sequence on each side. Take that right leg again up in the air. Let's come into warrior one. Bring that right foot up, turn that back foot down. Reach up in warrior one here. Opening it up into warrior two. Look out over that right arm. Our hips face the side wall. And bring your right hand down to the floor or a block inside that right foot. Reach your left arm out and up at an angle. We're coming into side angle pose here. The pose is cultivating and evoking your strength, your warrior side. So is the music, so is my voice. All these things, they're all making us push ourselves a little outside of our comfort zone so we can transform for the better. Take one more breath here in side angle. And release your hands down to the floor. Let's step back into plank at the top of a push-up. And when you're ready, lower down from plank. Arch your back up as much as you like. And back into down dog. One more sequence, one more side. Take that left leg up in the air. Step that foot up inside your left hand. Turn that back foot down. Reaching up in warrior one, two, start. Again, Pema says we're writing our future moment to moment. What happened in the past was past. But right now, we're changing our lives for the better in this moment, in this pose together. It's a beautiful thing we're all doing at the same time. Open it up now, warrior two. And last, bring your left hand to the floor or to a block. That right arm reaches out and up. And again, she says, to be fully alive, fully human, completely awake is to be continually thrown out of the nest. <laughs> These poses right here, their intention is to kind of throw you out of the nest, to feel your strength, to challenge you. Take one more big breath in this challenge. Release your hands down to the floor. Step back into plank. One more time, lower down from there into up dog, back into down dog with us together. And from this down dog, just come down to your knees in child's pose, uncurl your toes, sit back and relax. The hardest parts of class just ended. I'm giving you a high five. Mark's giving you a high five. I'm giving Mark a high five. I'm so proud of you. Well done. We threw you out of the nest. You went into your discomfort zone. Challenged yourself. You let that difficulty transform you. And you didn't run away from it. It's incredible. So let's come into child's pose. It's also a good time to wipe off or take a drink. But just take about half a minute more from here and relax deeply as we kind of switch gears and start to stretch and open up soon. A few more breaths just like this in child's pose. Another quote from Pema that I loved, she said, when we protect ourselves so we don't feel pain, that protection becomes armor, like an armor that imprisons the softness of our hearts. I want you to know that these poses coming up, their intention is to open you up. It's to open the armor up, physically in a muscular way, and then also in an emotional and mental way so that the armor does not imprison our hearts 
So these yoga poses, at the core of these yoga poses we're getting into now, that's what we are doing. Not just opening the muscles, but opening our hearts and getting rid of any armor that we do not need. All right, I'll stop talking now. Let's come up from child's pose and let's come into butterfly pose. So sit down on your mat. And bring the soles of your feet together. Keep your knees out wide apart. With your hands under your feet. When you're ready, pull your body forward and down. You want to feel that you're a little outside of your comfort zone. You want to feel the stretch and the movement in your body. But not so much that you're gritting your teeth or you're pulling or you're overly aggressive. Find that sweet spot, that middle ground where you feel the change. You're experiencing the change that's going on in your body. But it's not so intense that it's throwing you out of your ability to breathe into it and to breathe out from it. Working on getting rid of armor in a physical way and a mental way and an emotional way. So for a half a minute, just relax like this. up from here let's just extend our right leg straight out in front of us keep that left foot high up inside your thigh we're taking a forward bend over that right leg so walk your hands out and down that right leg for about half a minute here breathing consistently if you can, try to envision not only are you opening up your muscular body, your hamstring, your low back, but you're just letting your heart open up as well. Especially when I exhale, I try to let go of armor. And when I inhale, I feel my heart exhaling. I'm letting go of the armor. Inhaling, I'm feeling my heart over and over again. One more big breath like this. Let's come up from there. And now let's switch sides. Left leg goes out, right foot up and in. Good, and when you're ready, take your hands out and down as far down that left leg as you like. If you want a towel or a strap around that left foot that's always fine to help keep you in that forward bend. Slow your breath down. Feel your heart and your physical body opening up these 30 seconds here. breath here I didn't see you enter. bring our bodies up from here and roll onto your back from there you found a way to set your feet on the floor your anchor down to my soul. one back bend when you're ready press into your feet lift your hips up in the air bridge pose Interlace your hands under you. Keep your hips high here. You showed up uninvited. I was caught off guard. I was unexpected. Good. Bring this back bend down. But now see you this Hug your legs I in. Come into a happy baby. Reach inside your knees. Grab the outside side. of your feet. Music is getting soothing, the poses are opening you up. You 
heard me say over and over that from moment to moment we are writing our future in this present moment this yoga practice we are doing exactly that we're changing how we feel in the present which will absolutely positively affect our future for the better let's release our feet set your feet on the floor thread the needle bring your right ankle just above your left knee Sweep your right hand through that gap in your legs. Clasp your hands either outside that shin or under that knee. I like to bring a block and put it under my head. Makes it a little more comfortable here. But about a minute here, opening our hips and thread the needle or any other hip opener you may want to take. But find your starting place and relax into this. Way in from here. Another Pema quote. What we do accumulates. The future is the result of what we do right now. It's right in alignment with what we are doing. We're changing the present moment so that the future moments that we all have coming will be a positive accumulation of the work we are doing right here, right now, in this present time why I love doing this with you so very much. Take one more big deep breath here on this side. And to come out, release your hands, uncross your legs. And let's set up the other side, that left ankle just above your right knee. We're finding that starting place and relaxing into this side as well. Oh Lord, In a minute like this. What brings me here? It's a mother to all my wonders. She says, we sow the seeds of our the future, happiness or hell, just by the way we open or close our minds right Easter now. We're all in this pose together. We can choose to embrace this pose, embrace opening, embracing, letting go of our armor. We do that, we bring the happiness into our life that will open our minds and that will increase the positivity in our future. It's all up to us. I really encourage you and I and Mark to use our time opening our hearts up, knowing that doing that will affect our future in the best of ways. Oh, mothers, I see you all. All the fruit Take one more big breath here. And we'll raise Good, release your clasp. Hug your right leg into your body. Let your left leg reach out on the floor. We've got our last twists. Our left hands take the knee over to the left. Our right arm opens out to the right. Bring that leg back up. Switching sides. Last twist. Our left leg comes in. Our right hand takes it to the right. Last couple breaths here. Because we are spending these 45 minutes in the present doing something so healthy physically and mentally, emotionally, our future has to show results. We've created an incredible recipe and in the present and in the future, we get to benefit from this recipe of all the poses, all the breath, all the movements. Bring your leg back up to center and we're heading into Shavasana, our final rest. 
So find a position you're comfortable and just close your eyes. And one last thing for us together. Take a big breath in. We're holding our breaths in. Open your mouth, sigh that breath all out from there. Beautiful. And after that, work changing your body and present moment for the better. Now enjoy these last minutes to simply rest. Begin moving your fingers and your toes once again. And slide your heels gently back. And roll to your right side. And as you're ready, press up to sitting. Close your eyes and bring your hands together right at your heart. Start now. Start where you are. Start with fear. Start with pain. Start with doubt. Start with hands shaking. Start with voice trembling. But start. 
Start and don't stop. Start where you are with what you have. Just start. Because the future is completely open. Be willing to write it moment to moment and use each moment as an opportunity to make a fresh start. I love that all of us chose these 45 minutes. We use these 45 minutes as an opportunity to change the present, to start working on our future by transforming the present into a healthy and a happy and joyful place. It is an incredibly positive and spiritual use of your time and your effort and your energy. I couldn't be more pleased with your choice and with your effort. I love what you've done. From wherever you are, whatever you are doing the rest of your day, just start it, move through it and do the very best you can and you will change your future for the better. So from me and from Mark and from the essence of Pema Children, thank you for practicing yoga with us today. And be well, have a beautiful day from here on out. Namaste. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're wearing your gray too because customers had us all wear gray apparently. <laughs> yeah, the uh, memo went out. Yeah, the memo the went out. The costume designers. Yeah. Uh, thank you again for practicing. I was saying before we started this that I wanted to use a lot of Pema's quotes that deal with starting and that deal with uh, beginning a process and being open to whatever's coming out of you and just coming out of the nest. Trusting that to be a little uncomfortable is okay, and that you'll, your future will, will uh, benefit from that. Yes, so all of you who are just taking this class for the first time, bravo to you. Continue on. It'll only get better and better and better. And um, thanks again, Matthew, for You're welcome. You're welcome. inviting me to be here today. Yeah, we, we love yoga. I know it changed my life for the better, which is why I then decided to teach it. And Mine Mark too. too. Mm -hmm. So I, I hope you keep continuing this journey with us on our yoga mats. And I'm going to be making hundreds of videos. I'm not going <laughs> to stop. So you'll have plenty of content to choose from. Hundreds. Hundreds. Well. Hey <laughs> have now. a great, great day. <laughs> you, Namaste. Namaste. Bye.